When Swift Playgrounds were introduced into Xcode, it really opened up the opportunities for us to experiment with our code and just play with it outside of a project, right? We didn't have to create a full-blown project every time we wanted to do something. You know, every time you wanted to experiment with a view or something like that, you didn't have to spin up in this entire project. Now, I've got the Xcode 12 beta here right now. This is beta 4. And interestingly, you know, in this day and age where we have Swift UI, you still don't have a template, a way to make a, a Swift UI playground uh, straight out of the box, right? I'm going to show you here. So, you know, I've got iOS selected and I've got single view. And if I click next, it's going to ask me to save it somewhere. I'm going to save it on my desktop. And as you can see here, if I expand the window and I'll run this. out of the box, what it gives us is a UI view to play around with, but it's based on UI kit. Everybody's going to want to start using Swift UI. So how do you overcome this? Well, it's actually very straightforward. Uh, what you can do is, you know, even though it doesn't give you the option, I'd like to see Xcode say, hey, do you want to create a Swift UI view or do you want to create a UI kit or an app kit view, you know, whichever one, but it doesn't give you the option. Well, what you can do is you can create yourself a template. Right? There's very little code that you need uh, for actually making a Swift UI view in Swift Playgrounds. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete all of this code off of here. right? And now I'm just going to paste in some code here. I'm going to take off this as well. This is all the code you need to create and play around with a Swift UI view in a playground. I'm going to run it right here and show you. So you know what we've got here, of course, we import the playground support. We import Swift UI, we create our struct with our content view and a body, and then we just attach that view to the playground, right? To the playground view. So all I've got here is a, a text label, right? I'm just gonna, in fact, let's just copy that, right? Just to show you that you can really play around with Swift UI views here. I'll create a vertical stack. And I'll just create another copy of the text label here and run it. There you go. So, you know, this is all you need to get a Swift UI view up and running in Xcode. What I've done and what I would recommend is, you know, just to sort of let's just go backwards here a little bit, right? I have a template that I use that basically contains this now, right? So instead of going, you know, file new and then a Swift UI playground, I just start off with this template here to create a Swift UI playground and start working with that. So I hope this has been helpful. You can find a lot more content and helpful stuff like this on compileswift.com. Uh, you can also follow me on Twitter at compileswift. Uh, please like and subscribe. And this tells me that you want to see more content like this. So that's it. Have some fun with it.